Hey, Carter. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be your mom one day. Um, one day soon. And this is gonna be some kind of dad here. <laughs> if you get his words right. Um, you'll meet us pretty soon. Let's see, what do you wanna, do you wanna tell him about us? Take it back from the beginning. Hold on. I got it. We're gonna stop. Boom. Yeah. Counsel did. Don't no, counsel did. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Alright. Alright, Carter. Today is April 16th. 2021. In seven weeks, as Lord's will, we will be here in the world. I bet we do. Yeah. And all that other fun stuff. But, anyways, this is the first video of many. And just want to do some so you can see how it was actually was. <laughs> and all the time and all the crimes she did. I guess we can tell you how it first started. Well, we first. How <laughs> what first started? How we oh, met? Yeah. Oh, you go then, cause like your story seems to differ from mine. My, my right. Yeah. We got at Red Lobster. Started off at Red Lobster. Actually, she trained me when I first got the job there, working in the kitchen there. She started training me to bake the bread. She was the worst bread baker. What? I was not. Came in and you know I did what I had to do. Became a man there, you know. But anyways, while your mama was training me, her phone went off one day, right? <laughs> she or something like that. I don't know what it was. But she was training me though, so I was like, do it. A little line, like, if it ain't like, me text any better, you know, if you're not answering something it's like that. Not how it went. I don't know. Yeah. Don't wait from That's how it went. But she said she looked up and she saw my smile and it was like, oh my God, I got to have you know. <laughs> that was what she told me, you know, I'm just keeping one on But anyway, we started being friends out of that, you know, kicking it. She would come over to the crib, you know. First, about what? The first month, you know, we just were texting, doing what we do. You know, we got that ticket, come over to the crib one night. That was the first night over there. This is a stop sign. <laughs> I was like, this ain't gonna work. I don't, I don't think I need to be just the Lord saying, no. I need to be with you. I don't need to come over here. Yeah, that's crazy. But I paid for first the ticket. Over I there. told her I didn't pay for the ticket then, but I told her. He I'm just sure like, paid for the ticket. He been too late in the past. I'm married. Just how I'm paying for the ticket. ticket. That's the biggest ticket I ever paid for. <laughs> <laughs> But it's worth it though, you know. We got Carter. Carter, you must singleton. They all tried to go with my initials. And she you had, had a whole nother name before, before like three, two months ago. I did. We had a whole nother name. But we had to tweak it though. 
It's still in the same lines, but you find out who it's gonna be. And you're gonna be like, uh, probably. Probably, <laughs> probably male. It is what it is. Yeah. But anyway, that's his story. Um, how we met. Nice, very, very differently. So you were right. We were in the kitchen. I wasn't training you though. Like, you were supposed to be. You was already trained. Like, you was already there. Some kind of way. Yeah, but I wasn't trained in the kitchen. I was like. I, I wasn't trained. Like, you was already baking and stuff. That, that's what you were doing. I guess. And you started telling me something about a party. Like, I'm over there just minding my business. And you said, I was just saying, I'm having a party tonight. I'm like, why do you keep telling me about this party? Because I don't go nowhere. I do nothing. You just kept telling me about the party. I was like, okay, and you was finna go. You finna, you're supposed to be gone. You came back and you put some some some, some baked potatoes in the oven for me. And you know, I came back around the corner and you bend it down and you put the potatoes in there. And you look at like this, and you just all 32. I was like, damn. I had a nice smile or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, okay. nice um, so then I was like, I know I didn't go to the party, but. After you was finna go, I said, um, where, where you gonna be at? Just, I'll just text you, I'll just let you know, I'll just text you. How you gonna text me? And then, I think that's when the number exchange came off, some kind of way like that. And, yeah. And, um, yeah, and then, I don't know who, which one of us, I probably text you, I probably asked you, um, later on, and I know I went to Pimmer, I ain't not to go, and I never went. But, um, I would think it was, was you really having a party? <laughs> uh, you don't remember that part, do you? But you, you, yeah. I promise you, you did tell me something about the party. Yeah, I That's how you started party. talking to me. Because I was like, yeah. But yeah, that's it. Um, and then let's see. Yeah, one of us texted you on that night and said something about the party. You asked me was I coming, or you like asked you where it was, whatever. Then you started texting me. And then, like on the very, like very first week of talking, we said we both went to move to Texas. That's and that's how Texas came along. Oh. And we finally moved to Texas this year, last year, 2020. Right. Just that one year. Yeah, one that's year. Nice. So you were conceived in Texas, Carter. We wanted to name you know, Dallas. Well, part of Texas, but. Oh yeah, on your birthday, we was out of town. We was in Galveston. That's probably like, we don't know, sure. But, um, yeah. Time will tell. No, we won't. We will never know exactly when. We will never know exactly when. But, um, yeah. You, you're here now. Well, you, you're gonna be here soon. So, and Oh yeah, and then we do have Pippi at the crib. Hopefully Pippi be still kicking it by the time we <laughs> old enough to actually play with him, man. Play with her. Play with her. You know what I mean. Pippi was my first baby. Hmm. I wish Pippi was here right now on camera with us. She wouldn't do that. She would be looking around her and see what's going on. You're going to meet Pippi. Hopefully you like her. Hopefully she likes you. Y'all in the bed and cookies. <laughs> that's, uh, she, she is gonna be. She likes to eat stuff. She likes to eat. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, for the for the, the way we take care of we take care of you. It's pretty much I I do all the, the tender love and care and he, he feeds you. The way we do the dog, pretty much. <laughs> I do all the cuddling and kissing and stuff like that. And um, you make sure you stay alive. Yeah. Um, Cause. Keep the roof over the head. Yeah. yeah. Keep the stuff full. Mm -hmm. He does do that. Pretty, pretty good at that. So, if you ever hungry, <laughs> and I ain't cook nothing, just. Shell bar, I see. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah, for all the other stuff, as far as the, you know, I can do other stuff. Take care of you. I'm gonna probably change most of your diapers. Yeah. yeah. 
And I'm probably gonna be the only one holding you while you really little like a newborn yeah, because I'm so he's scared. He's kind of so he's kind of scared. I hate to drop the card and then y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know, I just hate to drop the card in the middle, but I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna hold you. I just hope you don't get up at 3 o'clock in the morning crying. Dad ain't gotta be at work till like 7, you feel me? So wait till like 6 and wake me up. Yeah. That's still a good card. You more like a 9 o'clock person. I get the job done, though. Yeah, definitely that. But yeah, so um, we're gonna go ahead and let you know we like to take trips, and some of them you're not gonna go. No. So you're gonna be real acquainted with your like grandparents. 60, 40. Yeah. Let's work. Hey. Plotting my escape, this game riding niggas fake Got a couple M's hiding in the safe Imagination turn a Honda in the Wraith I was doing 80 on the interstate Trying to make it back before my class dark Country nigga never seen a passport Till I popped off and got a bag for it Now I'm at the garden sitting half court Watching Junior catch it off the bad boy Feel a nigga never seen nothing Except a fucking triple bean jumping Good dope, leave a fiend crumping Made it out, it gotta mean something Either you gon' hustle or that nigga Uncle Sam got your ass re-enlisting Two six murder scene pumping Better Leave it tucked if you ain't dumping Pow, pow, nigga, he slumping Twelve coming, we ain't seen nothing Time chain, niggas ain't rumbling No more, nah, what for? Hungry for more If you solo these vocal, listen close And you can hear grumbling Bow tie and I'm still munching Big bag, never fear fumbling Won't smoke, nigga, don't choke I'm a whole fucking nicotine company Dream real the army, not a navy How could you ever try to play me? Kill him on a song, walk up out the booth Through the Westbrook like a baby I never fall out with the bro Hey, when your family Turning to foe. We had a penthouse on the road, interior decorated with a hose. Just like a multiple truck getting shows. My niggas like any mini money more. Scoop up a dime piece like we homeless. Then we gon' send them back to the toe. Out of the concrete was a rose, and when it was cold, had to go over and stand by the stove. We from the southeast, niggas know this where the ice creep real slow. Won't vote, but they might be.
one night <laughs> we was like I guess you can call it they call it sneaker links now. But um that, <laughs> that's what we were doing. Yeah, that we were doing at the time, but I had a whole other situation going on. I had a roommate at the time, man. Old school cat. But anyways, Oh, one that's night. Because you were trying to play me. Okay, yeah. this is now what happened. Yeah. One night. Your daddy went and got a whole girlfriend. But like, why he was still talking? It wasn't even like that. It was like that. Like, we weren't even in no relationship. We, we was talking. We went and got a whole serious relate. What he said was serious. It was serious. It was serious. It was serious. It was serious. But, but anyway. He went and got a whole relationship. A whole relationship. <laughs> Your mama and her comrades came over to my crib one night, right? I'm in the room. They know my little situation was at the crib because they knew the car. Anyways. But anyway, the next morning, my roommate was old school. He woke me up at 6.30 in the morning talking about, Chuck, you got to know where I'm going to go. And the apartment I was standing there, it was the projects. It was the real good, good gas light. Shout out to gas <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, it was like, um, you gotta enter the door just to get inside the, um, what, apartment complex? The building yeah, the building. you go into your apartment. Yeah, so, um, they left a note on the outside door. At the time, they said, what, I think it was like, um, uh, <laughs> like Chuck. This your baby mama song right here. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So, it's like like 6 30 in the morning, my little situation in the room, man. My old school mess in the room, man. Come, man. Yeah, we don't care about that. But it's like the fact. So, anyway, I go back to work the next day, not knowing who did it. I'm pissed, like, who the hell would play me like that, anyway? But, word get around, man. Like three months. Right. Oh, only at you. Only at you. That wasn't even at the end. Because I didn't expect you to like be involved. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, the other, you know, your other comrades at the time, I didn't expect that. Oh no, but you like it kind of hurt me though. You know what I mean? So I was like, that's pretty man. So I stopped. <laughs> I stopped doing her floor for that night. Uh, every night, every night before I leave, don't make sure I'm on the floor. Did all that, so she ain't had to do no hard labor. But besides the little work she had to do, a little easy, a little prepping. But anyway, three months was, I think, longer than that, though. Oh, well, I think about six months. Like six months, like we didn't even talk that up. We worked right beside each other for six months straight, and I ain't even talked to no more. I was like, man. You got a whole little bridge. You see what we had now. About some chick you don't even, you don't even know her name no more. <laughs> Anyways.